welcome to being at home with George during the time of COVID. I'm excited to be here today, and it happens to be Super Bowl Sunday. And what I'd like to talk about this week in the context of embracing, saying yes to everything, and at the same time generating hope, I want to talk about this idea of resetting, rebooting, renewing, in other words, in terms of getting some recovery from all of the activities. And it's interesting that we're doing it because this is the second time we're doing at home with George, because the first time we used some new software and after doing the at home with George, we realized that none of the video was up to par to what we needed in order to submit it, a social posting. And it's the same thing is we have to reset, we have to reboot. And I could spend a lot of time being critical or being judging, you know, this shouldn't have happened or all of that stuff. And that's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. What is necessary is to reboot, to reset, and to do it again. When we don't do that, we waste energy and time just going over and ruminating instead of just making the next play. Like I talk about it all the time, the WIN, the win. And that is what's important now, begin again. And how do you do that? You do that by letting go to grow. You do that by just noticing, make, maybe making a mental note about, okay, so that didn't work so well. So we'll put a mental note with what was wrong and what we think would be the solution. And then to immediately drop that or let that go and then focus on the next thing. Do what you know to do and the next step will be given to you. And we talk about that a lot. So I have these beats, these beat X, and I have this tendency for some reason, I can't seem to have one for a year. I keep wearing them out. So yesterday I was trying, actually it was this morning, I was trying to use them and the, the power light was on, but it wasn't connected to my phone. And so I immediately went to, okay, these things, I have to go get some new ones. They're broken. I have to take them back. And then it dawned on me that why don't I try turning off my my iPhone, I have the iPhone 11, and I turned it off and turned it back on, and lo and behold, the beach worked. And so it saved me a trip to the Apple store and then ruminating about these things never work or what's wrong or whatever. And it's just a simple thing of not judging, not being critical, just sticking to the facts, just thinking about what's the next thing that needs to happen. And, you, and we can do this all during the day for a lot of things. If things don't happen, we reset, we reboot, uh, we renew. And it being Super Bowl Sunday, it's going to be important for the team that's able to be victorious is to be able to reset, reboot, and renew, which means, you know, you know, recollecting and really thinking about, okay, renewing, what are we doing? What's the intention? What's the best way to do it? And so that's what's going to happen. I think the, the team that wins today is the one that can reset, reboot, and renew in real time. And that's the same with us. What we have now is is what we have, and we have to be able to reset, uh, renew, and reboot. And I'm excited because when we do that, it's a new beginning. And the interesting thing about it is you think of from a mental perspective, to be able to see things with what is called a beginner's mind or with some freshness, that it really allows us to see things that we haven't seen before. It really allows us to bring more energy into the activity that we're engaged in. And that is the challenge, isn't it? Is to see things in new and fresh ways. So we encounter the ordinary that's familiar, but at the same time, it's new. There's a freshness to it. And they talk about the, this sense of wonder, the willingness to see things in fresh ways, the willingness to let things speak to us in their own language. And when we can do that, when we can observe our experience uncritically, then I think it becomes pretty easy. Okay, let's do this, let's do that. Not get hung up in the blame game or being critical or judging, but just noticing this is what's happening, what I need to do. Or as they say with Nike, just do it. Just do it. But you have to know what am I doing? And that, that question about being clear about what my intention is. My intention was what? To use my my beats. And so being clear what the intention is. And, and why is it helpful? Because when I have the beats and I can listen to people and I can walk around hands-free 
And so just going back to the basics, you know, what's important now, what's my intention and what's the best way to do it? This is the way I've done it in the past, but can I be open and seeing it differently or maybe doing it differently because maybe the context in which I am operating is a little bit different. And so today, I think keeping it really simple from everything, even when we wake up and, you know, it feels like uh, we can reset. Okay. We can just pause and reflect and then just begin again. But this idea of beginner's mind, seeing things in fresh and new ways, having this sense of wonder, the unwilling willingness to let things speak to us in their own language. And so the resetting, the rebooting and the renewal 